Good morning. I hope that we are off to a good Monday morning. Monday is always a challenge. I'm just making sure that my sound is working. And welcome everyone to <clears throat> episode two of Let's Chat. Actually, episode one to episode three. And I did ask what topics that we want to speak about today and and I got a request about discipline. And I, yeah, discipline is a very good topic to talk about. Everyone always talks about inspiration, motivation, commitment, action, and all these wonderful words that will help you move forward in, in losing your weight or achieving your goals. And that's what it's all about. But when we look at discipline, Discipline is a very powerful word because discipline is what keeps you going. It's basically, it's, discipline is doing stuff that sometimes you don't want to do because it can be um, quite boring and at, at times we feel that we're not getting the results. <clears throat> and I heard a really good quote from Jim Rowan and he said that discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Now, if we look at, if we look, and a lot of people do get motivation and discipline mixed up, but if you look at discipline, how powerful it is, because for me, discipline gives you direction. It gives you that direction towards your desire, which is motivation, whatever motivates you to whatever you want to achieve. And with discipline, how it gives you direction. It gives that line of sight of what you want. Now, along the way of achieving your goals and dreams and weight loss or whatever you want to do in life, you, if you have discipline, you have everything. Because if you're disciplined in doing something, like for example, every Monday morning, I always go for a run, no matter what. You know what gets me there is discipline. Knowing that I do it on, on auto, autopilot mode. But discipline doesn't happen overnight. It is, it is driven with our behavior. It is driven with our habits. It's our, driven with the environment in which we're in. And it's doing it regardless how you feel. So if you feel like shit this morning and you don't want to do it, it's, it, it, this, it, discipline is, regardless of how you feel, you block that emotion away. You do it because of what you want to achieve at the end. You cut through all the BS, I want to achieve this, I want to lose weight, I want to lose five kilos and five weeks so I want to have that freedom and have that joy and and discipline equals freedom well for me that's what discipline is all about it's a freedom to do what I've set out to do and it's all about shifting your mindset it's all about instead of instead of thinking about the goal of what you want to achieve, think of, of the identity that you want to be. So if your identity is to lose weight and, and to lose weight for the very last time, what does that look like to you? What is it, what's the identity of that, that connection to you? Because the goal will happen. So let's look at that. And to, and to have discipline, we need the correct sleep. We need to have the right exercise and the nutrition. What does sleep, eating properly, and doing some sort of exercise, what does it give us? Because we, we need that substance, we need that. It gives us energy. Without energy, 
we're not going to be able to focus on the discipline and achieve our goals because we're going to be too tired. You're going to be distracted. You're going to derail off what you want. You're going to be detoured away from whatever it is you want. You need to have that as well. And when we look at discipline, discipline is the ability to set clear and precise goals of what you want and work towards them, not just for one day, not just for one week, not just for one month. It might take you years to get to you want to get to. And let's work on them every single day. And when we're disciplined, we need to see in front of us or around us to remind us what is it that we are being disciplined about? What is it that we want? So by having reminders, like I did, postal notes, I used to buy shirts, clothes, two size smaller when I was losing my weight and I would have them always in front of me, in my face, to remind me the reason why I'm doing this and working hard is because I want to lose weight. And to me, that connection of losing weight was able to fit into clothes. Now, that's not going to be for everyone. So, but what I'm trying to say to you, you need constant reminders of why you are doing what you're doing. What is going to give you back in return? Connect to the identity. Visualize. I've done all the hard work, regardless, day in, day out, because motivation is what's going to keep you on track. But discipline, motivation will get you started, sorry, but discipline will keep you on track. Now I can sit here and talk until the cows come home. How do you get discipline? How do you snap out of the rut you're going through and you can't achieve your goals because you're at home and we're stuck because of COVID and, this, and we're not getting the results as quick as possible? How do we snap out of that? How do we get out of that? How do we get back onto the wagon, back on track? because you've been derailed. And that is always going back to why you want it in the first place, your desire to have that. If you don't know why you want something or why you're working towards it every day, then it's hopeless. You're not gonna really get there. You know, like it's, it's, you have to have a really clear and precise reason what you want and why you're doing it and what is gonna, what was going to give you because if it, 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 it makes no purpose. I was writing some notes over the weekend because I really want to, not because I, I don't know what this plan is, but I just want to get some ideas of what other people and, you know, and what the whole gist people talk about discipline. And you need to tap into your why. What is your underlying reason, your motivation or your purpose to be disciplined? What is it? What's going to make you tick? What's going to make you hungry? What is going to get you going, at, regardless how you feel, to keep on moving forward, regardless of not getting results, regardless of the people around you? What is it that's going to keep you being disciplined? Your environment can be stronger than your willpower because willpower requires energy. It's a push, not a pull. Ensure it, that your goals that you're trying to accomplish. Don't put yourself in a situation that you are tempted or distracted. So remove temptations. Not saying that you're never ever going to have that ever again. 
So if I can use the example of losing weight. Now, if you're tempted to have an ice cream and chips and chocolate, if that's going to be your distraction, if that's going to derail you from achieving your goals, or detour you from not having the discipline, get rid of it. I'm not saying get rid of it forever, but get rid of it right this moment, what you want to achieve, because it's not serving you. Not because we're going to say we're not going to ever have it again, or be in denial, or pretend it's not there. It does not serve you towards what you want. So remove the distractions. I'm just using weight loss as an example, but you can apply with this to any part of your life. But we're all here about weight loss, we're all here about losing weight for the very last time. I had a question on the Facebook group and it was, you know, um, focused and focusing on weight loss but not getting the results. Then don't focus on weight loss, focus on being healthy. Focus on what that will give you. And then weight loss will happen after that. So if you are trying to lose weight and what you're trying to do is not working, then you need to change direction. You need to change that away from what you're doing. The thing about discipline is that it creates, you need to create goals and challenges because that keeps you going as well. Commit to something or someone other than what you're doing. At times you may need to hire a coach or a mentor because that will keep you on track and keep you honest and give you accountability. The bottom line is get started. It doesn't matter how small your action is. As long as you're going in the right direction, small changes eventually become big results. Remember, action inspires further action, but momentum creates momentum. Momentum. You see, the reason why we also need to focus on these small results, because it gives you belief that you can achieve. It gives you hope. You can see that, okay, I'm being disciplined. I'm getting these results. Even though they're small, it's still a light at the end of the tunnel. It gives you hope. And once you start to believe in yourself and trust yourself that the processes in which you are doing, how, however small the results are, they're still results. That gives you momentum, that gives you confidence, that gives you belief, and that keeps you going. And yes, there could be times when you don't feel like a doorknob. God forbid, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no exception to that. I wake up days thinking, oh, I can't be bothered doing this. This is just all bullshit. I can't just handle it. And then I stop. I count to 10 backwards. I take three deep breaths in. If I can walk away from the environment, or walk away from the environment, I clear my mind, or go for a run, or whatever I can do, I can just reset. Go back to my goals. I'm thinking, okay, these are the reasons why I'm being so disciplined. This is what I want to achieve. I'm clear and precise about my goals and my vision. That's what it's all about. And don't aim for perfection. Just aim of just moving forward every single day. It doesn't have to be perfect. And the bottom line, it is a waste of mental energy to spend time worrying about mistakes and setbacks. They only serve you if you can learn from them. But if they're going to haunt you, if they're going to stop you, 
If they don't take up headspace in your mind where you can't achieve your goals, then get rid of it. You made a mistake. I made a mistake. It's over. It's a lesson. Yeah. Picking up and acknowledging the lesson and moving on is important. It's not about being denial, it's about accepting, aware of it. Okay, it's happened to one side. Whenever I find myself in a situation again, I'll do it again. And when it comes to being disciplined, and you have those, those little wins, celebrate the wins and successes no matter how small it is. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, okay, great, be your biggest supporter and, and keep on moving, keep on moving. You know, if we, that's what it's all about, is the encouragement that keeps us going. And it only takes one strategy, one step, one change to move forward. And you have the power to be more disciplined. And I know you got this. Now, people who have more self-discipline are better at making decisions. That leads to long-term. Losing weight for the very last time is, is long-term success. Because by doing this, you're able to ignore the impulses, the temptations, because all of that leads to bad choices. Therefore, now, discipline is the ultimate weapon, friend. It will help you become stronger, happier, and healthier, healthier for the long term. Discipline really helped me to get where I'm to right now. I'm on a different journey and I'm wanting to achieve new goals in my life. To be, able, to be more well known. To shine and to show people who I'm all about. So I'm happy to do things and I need to be disciplined every single day. I work from home. So I need to push myself. I don't have a team of people around me. What really helps me to be disciplined is having a routine. Having a routine sets me up. I've got a plan. By sticking to that routine, keeps me on track. Keeps me moving. Because the moment you stop moving, the moment that water stops flowing, it stagnates, it stops. And then you're, boom, you're not moving. What happens when you don't move? You're not moving towards your goals. You're just there. You start looking around. But you can't afford to do that. You need to have that clear direction. Don't be distracted. Don't have detours. Don't get derailed. Discipline gives you direction. And discipline isn't something that we're born with. <laughs> we're not born with discipline. It's, it's discipline is something that we need to learn. We need to read about. We need to practice. And that all comes down to habits. It, it's doing things every day to form new habits until it becomes second nature, like autopilot, having a shower, brushing teeth, making coffee. You know, when you have that routine, you know, for me, it's like I'm, I'm awake at half past five, six o'clock every morning. It's automatically. I'll make coffee straight away. <laughs> That's what I do. I get up, bang, besides wash my face and, and doing what the normal things you do in the morning, I go straight in the kitchen, I'm making coffee. It's my routine. That sets you up. That's something that, 
that I'm familiar with. And see, the, the pathway to self-discipline, it, it, it doesn't happen overnight. And you've got to tell yourself this, that I want to do this. Don't set the expectations too high. And remember that habits take time to form and to break. So it's replacing an old habit with a new habit. But if you start small and you build, you won't be wondering how you can discipline yourself any longer. So eventually it will just come automatically. It's like exercise habits. Start small. Keep your promise. Begin by walking around the block for five minutes in the morning. Get into that routine. Be disciplined about it. Just do five minutes. Do it for one week. Then increase it from five minutes to ten minutes. And do that for a week. And continue with this pattern. And eventually, exercise becomes a full-blown habit. To see what I mean, you need to build up to it. Because it takes time to incorporate those small changes into a full-blown habit. There's no way around this. There's no easy way out. I teach this in my, my, my habit transformation program by incorporating one new habit once a week. At times it could be one new habit once every couple of weeks, even a month, until you get used to that habit. So if you're looking for an easy way out, there isn't no easy, there isn't an easy way out. I can't promise you a, a potion or a tablet. It's like weight loss before the weight loss in, uh, um, industry is promising you things. It doesn't. It takes time. There's no shortcut because discipline is driven, driven by habits and by your behaviors because it's your choices that does that. So I know we're getting close to a half hour and this is a really great topic and it forced me to do a bit more research in, 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 in helping people with discipline. And the take home message here is that discipline takes time and, and it takes time by doing things in small sets and increasing it and it's your behaviour that goes towards it. And if you can take anything away from this chat today, is that you need to have clear set goals of what you want and work towards them and keep them beside you at times. And discipline is doing it regardless how you feel. Discipline is doing it regardless how you feel. And how do you keep on doing things regardless how you feel? Is to have your, your why, your goals in front of you all the time. Because that moment when you have that doubt, that moment when you want to give up, the moment when you want to toss the towel in, you pick it up and you go, okay, this is my reminder, my pick-me-up. The reason why I want to lose weight for the very last time because it gives me freedom, joy, happiness. I can live longer. I can wear nice clothes, I can be healthy, I can travel, I don't have to have a knee operation. 
So it gives me freedom to move around. Whatever it is, I'm using one example. You must have your list. You must have your reasons why you want to do them. That's what's gonna help you keep it. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. Bridge. You need that bridge. Without that bridge, you're either gonna fly over it or swim. But it's easier by building that bridge of discipline, accomplishment and goals. And habits will take time. I don't see anybody on in this morning's talk, and that's okay. It's like me doing my live chats. My live chats are not driven by the amount of people I get on here live or the amount of questions. That doesn't drive me. I'm disciplined. I have a routine. My live chats, let's chat, 10 a.m. Let's cook, 6 p.m. Wednesday. And let's move, 9 a.m. Thursday. Despite, no matter who turns up, I do them because I've already disciplined myself. That's my routine. I do it regardless how I feel. I do it to achieve my goals. My goals are to be seen, to be heard, to, be po to get myself out there and to be the number one person that people come to when it comes to losing weight. That's my goal. And I will stick to my routine despite how many comments, how many likes, how many people watching. That to me doesn't matter because what I'm doing right now is serving you, is helping you. To lose weight for the very last time, discipline is a must. Because discipline will keep you going. And I repeat again, because by repeating things, it will sink in. Especially for my head. Discipline. Do it regardless how you feel. Because you do it of the reasons why you want it in the first place. That is your behavior, that is your habit. By creating that environment, you will have a better chance of succeeding your goals and doing what you wanna do. I hope that's helped you about discipline. There is so much information about it. And if I can give you any advice that's gonna help you how to create discipline, is that do the simple exercise about if you want to bring habit into your life. And we'll talk about that. Start small. Begin by walking around the block for five minutes. Every morning for one week. The next week, 10 minutes around the block. Do that for one week. The third week, 15 minutes. And by continuing this, this pattern, you will eventually see exercise will become a full-blown habit. Habits, behavior, will drive you to create self-discipline. So it's 10.30. i give myself a few more minutes in case anybody turns up. Let me know how you're enjoying these chats. They are recorded, 
that are kept in the unit section of the Facebook group, which is one of the top tabs. Comment below if you have a topic in which you wish for me to talk about, please um, comment below because this is what really helped me. If not, I'll just talk about my experiences when it comes to weight loss. I'll share that with you. What I find that people aren't really interested in, okay, I lost 80 kilos, that's great. Interested, interested in the journey and what bumps or hurdles, mountains or roundabouts or speed humps that I will come across, that I come across towards that journey because it's like up and down like this. And by being proactive and knowing what is ahead, at least that gives you, that will help you achieve your goal quicker, but also you, you would know what to expect. And then when it does happen, then you can say, well, this is normal. Because the moment you feel that this is not normal, then you don't feel like normal, you will tend to give up. So knowing that there'll be plateaus, knowing that there'll be times that you're not going to feel motivated, you're going to feel tired, you're not going to be disciplined, you're going to be tempted. You're going to have people, there'll be people that will be negative around you until you can't do it and so forth. So it's not so much, oh well, 80 kilos, it's all about the journey. It's all about what setbacks and what to expect along the way because we need to be realistic knowing that there would be. But discipline will really help you keep on track when it comes to achieving any goals. Discipline will keep you mindful of what it is that you want to do. And by having a routine and by creating new habits and by making better choices, discipline will become a habit will become a pattern, but you need to see that what you are doing is working. And by having those small steps and by celebrating those small victories along the way, just empowers you with more confidence and self-belief and hope to trust the process and to stick to what you're doing because it's working. And when, you, when we see that something is working, we, had, we tend to to go along with it because it's given us what we want. So whatever it is that you want, being disciplined gives us freedom and hope and gives us whatever it is, it has to give us a return, just makes us to keep on going. So don't be distracted or detoured because someone says something to you. If you're getting results, no matter how small it is, just keep on going, doing a great job, Keep on pushing forward, keep yourself motivated by listening to music and, and breathe in and don't be too hard on yourself. Be your own best supporter. Give yourself a pat on the back and acknowledge that what you were doing is, is, is what you want. So I think that we need to give ourselves more of that, more of that acknowledgement and, and celebrate their small wins. But remember that Discipline is doing it regardless of how you feel because you have your list of reasons why you want it. Discipline equals freedom. Once again, I'm Silvestro and I'm all about losing weight for the very last time. I look forward to your comments below and I look forward to what topics that you want to chat about next Monday. Thank you.